Today we're at Madrid's Atocha railway station and today we're going to go to the city of Toledo. Quite like the layout here, it's great. We've come through the baggage control and all the platforms you can see on the floor here, it says number four. They're all, it's like two all the way down to whatever, 10, 11, 12. All the trains lined up behind us. Impressive. Just a quick note that I forgot to mention is if you're traveling into city by trains in Spain, you'll have to take, put your luggage through the security luggage control, put your rucksack and your coat on the conveyor belt through it. It's a lot less pressure than an airport. It's quite easy going. So, but just make sure you get there 15, 20 minutes early so you can get your stuff through before getting on the train. just come out of Toledo's very impressive uh, train station now we're going to head there's an escalator that will take you from the base here up to the main part of the city that's going to save your legs a bit of walking let's go so we're a five or ten minute walk from the train station here in Toledo you see behind me the first great view of the city so an easy walk across the bridge there through the gates and further on up into the city itself. So if you want to save your legs heading up to the city, that's where you want to go, that route there, and look for the escalator. Now I know we're on the right path. Even in a medieval city, the modern comforts are appreciated. So by travelling to Toledo today, we've come to another one of Spain's 16 regions, La Mancha. And I like this here on this bench, famous scene from Don Quixote. So we bought our tickets for the land train down in the main square, seven euros each. Just go walk about 100 metres up the hill, by the side of down from down here, you can see the train waiting. We decided to do it first, because it's something we're really looking forward to, but the train goes out to the Mirador, which is the lookout, and it stops for five minutes and you take photos. So we thought we'd get all that in and then we've got the rest of the time to explore in Toledo. Let's go. So this is one of the main reasons to take the train. The train takes you all the way around the city and up to the Mirador, which is a lookout. And again, you don't need words for me to explain why you'd want to come up here.
So we went on the train tour around Toledo. It was actually about 35 minutes, but it was well worth it because we got off at the Mirador and we had a fantastic view of the city from the other side of the river. Now, what we're doing now, we're just walking around. We've only got half a day in Toledo, so it's kind of limited what we can go inside. So we're not going to go inside the Alcazar here like we did in Segovia, but great shot for getting a picture here. So, quick stop in the main square here in Toledo. Sample the paella. Nice. This is Toledo Cathedral. Now we're here on a Sunday, so we can't go in because of the masses taking place going after two o'clock in the afternoon. So we spent quite a bit of time walking around some streets and trying to find the facade of the cathedral. But now we finally got here, it's really worth it. It's a very impressive facade. One thing that's worth doing here in Toledo is walk around some of the side streets. Lots of cobbled streets that twist around corners. Very effective, very atmospheric, and you get some really nice shots with the sunlight coming down at certain angles and certain doorways. One thing it's worth pointing out here in Toledo, I said we only had half a day so we didn't really have time to explore the city fully, but we did go on the uh, land train tour. We went past some impressive battlements and gateways, arches to the city, which are just over there, you can see in the background. So I think you could definitely spend you know, an hour down there exploring that part of the city. Just on our way back to the train station at Toledo now, but again, another thing worth pointing out, if you're the kind of person who enjoys a nice walk, then I think Toledo would be another good city to do that. If you just look down here now, you can see that there's a path that runs all the way along the river through the gorge there, carries on out, and there's a nice little water wheel over there. So plenty of opportunities for walking and, and turning back and seeing great sights of the city. So that was our visit to Toledo. I have to say, I am really impressed. We watched a few videos on YouTube before visiting here and it set our expectations lower because a lot of people said, well, you know, it's okay, but there's not many places to see. Now, admittedly, we've only spent four hours here because of the limited time we've got and the train times. And we didn't actually go inside any buildings, but I think that if you stayed here for a full day, you could go in the Alcazar, you could go inside the cathedral and the, the streets, there's so many close streets and narrow streets, cobbled streets you can walk down. You can spend a lot of time weaving your way through there. Um, the River Gorge here, we've, we, as we went out on the, the train, you can see that there's plenty of opportunity for walking along the gorge. So when you add all that up, you could easily spend a day, possibly even a night here in Toledo, and you wouldn't get bored. It really has risen above expectations. During this trip to Madrid, we've visited both Segovia and Toledo. Now I would say that Segovia has the more impressive sites, for example, the aqueduct and the Alcazar. But as a city, I think Toledo every bit matches Segovia. So if you've got the time, visit both the cities. If you've only got time for one visit, go to Segovia. But wherever you choose, you're gonna have a great time because there's so much to see in this region around Madrid. So from Toledo, thanks for watching Rob on Holiday. If you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe and keep an eye out for more great videos.